Hey, what's up, it's boy Soul. Today, I am not gonna do any illustrations besides the thumbnail of this video. Instead, we're gonna talk about Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, too. But since it's not a review of the movie, we're gonna get that for next time, hopefully. Instead, we're going to do a review of the comic book that came out very recently in time with the movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the prequel. God, I hate that stupid pun. Let's go and read it, come on, let's go. Hey, I'm back! So, like I said, Sonic Movie 2! This is it! Not the review, though, of the movie. This is a review of Sonic the Movie Part 2, the prequel. So this happens canonically between Sonic 1 and 2 of those movies. If you've not seen those movies yet or don't know anything about Sonic Hedgehog, leave this video right now. Leave now. This is not for you. This, this will not be for you whatsoever. This is purely for the fans. 100% for the fans. I repeat, if this is not for you, or you're not wise these movies or you know anything about the video games at all leave this is not for you just go just just get, get your butt on out of here just just skedaddle just come on just get up get on we don't need you today we, we don't need you okay ready gone get you back okay sonic the hedgehog 2 the movie the prequel as i said it takes place up between sonic 1 and 2 movies and according to this it is canonical so, let's see what they got. All right, the first story is about Sonic in the bank. Sonic in the bank. He's a hyperactive child. What can I say? I mean, that's, that, that is the character. That's, <laughs> he's a hyperactive teen. What do you want me to say about that, man? And it seems he's kind of just straight up bored. And go 12 hours earlier time when he's in uh, Green Hills. And, you know, of course, he's bored. I mean, Green Hill is a pretty boring town. Also, for those who don't know, it is based off, duh, the very first zone in Sonic the Hedgehog games, Green Hill Zone. There you go. And, of course, Sonic doing various things around the town, just being, uh, yeah, just, just being him. The novelty of an anthropomorphic hedgehog has really worn off in this town. <laughs> they just like, whatever, it just exists now, I guess. I guess, man. Anyway, this, uh, little place uh, gets held up, uh, looks like a bank. Typical robber dialogue, you know, we're gonna get into the network. And it seems they like stole like technology from Robotnik. And it's like, it's supposed to be like kind of a serious heist movie going on. Meanwhile, here's Sonic the Hedgehog like being himself. <laughs> With the chili dog and everything. By the way, him eating chili dogs was actually the very start of me liking chili dogs as a little kid. Once I saw Sonic eat it, I had to eat it too. He, he was right though, he was right though, they good. They good though, they are good. But yeah, they're trying to do like their own like, Dark Knight <laughs> type opening with the bank robbery and all this. It's supposed to be like all serious, like, oh God, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die, we're all gonna. Why is there a blue hedgehog here? What, why is there a blue hedgehog? What? Does someone forget their blue hedgehog that can talk and has super speed? Did, any, did anybody remember to, to pick up their hedgehog? And Sonic is doing usual, you know, I got this. I, this is nothing, guys. This, this is a Tuesday for me. But see, this is Sonic, not this, the Sonic we all kind of remember. The Sonic I know, and most people know, he's, he's professional as hell. This Sonic is more green, okay? So he's going to make mistakes. Like getting zapped by one of the crooks, trapping him inside the bank. <laughs> he's trying to get out. Oh, man. And they're trying to steal the whole entire bank, uh, you know, the bank, the vault itself. And Sonic said, no way Jose on that. With his cartoons, <laughs> antics. Oh my God, the peel out, the peel out move. Ah, yes, the peel out. Oh, that's my favorite one. One of the favorite moves of all time, the peel out. And of course, the cash phrase, gotta go fast. Of course, everybody knows that one, gotta go fast. And of course, this, most, this is mostly from the movie part. For those who don't know, this is mostly movie parts right here. We start this crackling of energy and all that. That doesn't quite happen in the games. I mean, they imply it, but they don't actually show that. In the movie, though, they, they flat out show it. Like, no, he, he has powers, powers. He, he is really strong. He's imbued with something. These people got, you know, leftover Robotnik tech and all that. And of course, it takes him down. And this one bank robber who's trying to be so like Robotnik and they're just not very good at it. <laughs> As you say the name, he's like, call me the Blue Justice. No, no, we're not doing that. And of course, little buildups to hints to the movie itself. Then move on to the next thing. And sign so the, the cops donuts. 
so it's so freaking cheesy. I love it. That's so cheesy. I love it. It's so incredibly cheesy. And this moves on to I'm assuming the next story. So this is Robotnik's. I'm assuming that was his uh, partner. No, they're not lovers. At least I don't think they're lovers. Oh God, I hope not. That I no. I just just no. Just no. Robotnik, you can do a lot better than that. No, he's creepy. Okay, so he used to be a barista, and he got tired of it. No, he is a barista right now. That's what he's doing. He is being a barista. <laughs> he's being a total dick about it. No, he has a robotic gear. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. This is what I was waiting for. Knuckles, baby. Knuckles. Knuckles. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, in the movie, it's going to be played by Idris Elba, which is awesome. And I mean, this this is very accurate Knuckles too. He's very like, he's very much like warrior bound. I must be the strongest type of person. And he has like no concept of what, what the hell fun is at all. I also like this little detail they're adding on, like uh, implying animal creatures and whatnot. Oh, by the way, look in the corner here. You can see a little reference to uh, Knuckles Chaotix. Chaotix? <laughs> and that's SBO and... Vesper, the crocodile. They're not in the movies, though, but uh, in the games, yeah, they're definitely in the games. And Knuckles is being held for, uh, I guess, uh, some kind of challenge, some kind of a uh, tournament, looks like. And of course, they reveal Knuckles also has powers. I mean, Knuckles does have powers in the games, too, but it's not quite presented like that. He just punches shit, okay? <laughs> Knuckles will punch the crap out of you. That's his mate. That's it's in the name, Knuckles. Look, come on, man. He Look, look at his fist, bro. Oh my god, the crater he can create was Knuckles long. Of course, he's playing this monster, and he gets freed by this mysterious uh, hacker, who I'm assuming is most likely Robotnik. Oh, Sword with Tails, here we go. Freaking Tails, a big supporter of Sonic. It looks like Tails is like tracking Sonic through the uh, the golden rings that were used in the last uh, movie, which makes sense, because golden rings were like that in the uh, games too, so pretty much. Well, the big golden rings anyway. Oh my god, there's no some references on this. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> this is from the first Sonic game. The references right here. Uh, Coliseum collapsing with lava and stuff. Yeah, 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 this is, uh... <laughs> oh my god, he's going through the games. <laughs> he's going through the of the game. Uh, they're, they're treated as, like, different zones or, uh, reality points, whatever you want to call it. Different realities, pretty much. And the Golden Rings get you a different reality. You get the idea. Or different worlds, I'm just saying. Probably different worlds. And of course, the story of Robotnik, of course, played by Jim Carrey, who, by the way, I never would imagine he'd be the best version of Dr. Robotnik I've ever seen, but he is. It's fantastic. Go much from review. So, yeah, this entire story is Dr. Robotnik getting high on mushrooms. <laughs> Dr. Ro Robotnik getting high on mushrooms. That is. That's genius. <laughs> I guess it kind of explains how he goes insane in the games, too. So, mushrooms. He just got... He just ate a lot of mushrooms that apparently talk to him. Talk to him. Eee! Got a little flamethrower. Oh, my God. Just look, look at that pose with the meme stance. The... <laughs> got a little meme stance. Ah! All right, that's the end of the book for now. All right, so... I appreciate you reading through this with me as we just <laughs> just be entertained by this book. This is a great read, actually. It's pretty good. It's kind of basic, but I do like it. It gives you a good idea of what's going on with the movie itself and uh, the universe that they're trying to create. This this brand new version of Sonic that I'm actually enjoying a lot. I, I mean, dude, when I first saw the uh, the original trailer of the movie, I thought about the really bad one with the bad CGI Sonic. Oh, we we all panicked, but thank God they didn't go that route. So. At the bottom of the screen is my uh, vidIQ affiliation link. Go there if you want to uh, experience vidIQ for yourself and try it out for a little while. It's only like eight something, but you get a percentage off with my code right there. So please try it. Also, remember to go to our Discord. I am right there all the time. I'm open to speak to people. I don't mind chatting with folks, uh, shooting the shit with you, whatever you want to do. Oh, by the way, before I leave, uh, remember to please Share the channel, sub to the channel, like the channel, comment below. Do all that stuff. I want you to go ahead. I, what you afraid of? 
By the way, don't get the notification bell as well while I'm out there. And remember to follow me too, all right? Oh, and if you also want a art commission from me, you can either get it from my website, which is falling on the screen right now, probably wobbling around, or you can get it from my Patreon. And my Patreon is tiers for whatever art commission you want. Okay? So, you got, it's your choice. I'll let be your call. That's it for now. So I'm going to ask you to please head on to the next video. I'll see you over there.